river down there.
Steamboat Springs at uh, the space station gas station where you can fill your tank and fill yourself with street tacos. Okay, just had a lovely ooh, bug hit my nose. Just had a lovely visit with uh, my old friend, my old motorcycling chum, Peggy, who is coincidentally vacationing here in Steamboat Springs. And I have not seen her since the last time I was at a trials event with the Arma vintage trials stuff, which was, I'm pretty sure, 2009. Um, so I had a great chat with her. She's still into bikes. She's got, we talked about what bikes and she had a good, good time catching up. And good tacos. Uh, I think we're headed toward Steamboat Lake and then should hit dirt. And probably that will be what will take us all the way to Rawlings. And we've got a hotel room so we can do some freshening up. I might do a load of laundry. I'm definitely going to have to charge up everything. My USB uh, charger cable broke. Not the cable, but the plug on the end of the, of the charging thing. So it's been making it a little difficult when camping and there's nowhere to plug in anything to charge. And I also need to catch up on riding. Um, I think three days behind on the ride report on ADV Rider. I did make notes. I might be four days behind. I, I made some notes a couple days ago to help me uh, remember what to put in there but yeah if we get if we get to Rollins a little a little early that'll be good just have some peace time because we've been doing a lot of riding and like the past two nights I intended to get the laptop out in the tent and just write some stuff but I went to bed early last night. I went to sleep early. It's so like, as soon as that sun goes down, the eyelids start getting heavy. In 
there. Struggling, Mike. What? Oh, no, we didn't. What'd you say? I thought maybe we got off the track. It's just one of those that goes straight to point to point. That yeah. wasn't trivial. No. The downhill? Yeah. I like going uphill better. Really? What do you, which do you prefer? Uh, I like them both, but the only thing about going downhill is that you can get too much speed. Yeah, I slid out once. Mm. You didn't fall, did you? No. Okay. No. Just the rear tire slid? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I, I shut the anti-lock brakes off in off-road mode. Okay. So you, so you can slide around. Yeah. I like doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. When we get on flat ground, I'll get a drink of water. Okay.
Okay, so this is not good. Steve got into some loose gravel in a corner and couldn't control the bike and it high-sided. Flipped down and he, he went off the bike and landed on his right shoulder and kind of tumbled down a little a little berm and which way do I go? I assume I go right. And uh He says his shoulder does not feel good. Um, I separated my shoulder one time on a very similar kind of situation. And um, I looked at, I asked, him to, I asked him to take his jacket off of his shoulders and looked at, uh, just kind of compared, like lightly touched his shoulders to see if there was any difference in it. It looks like he may have separated. He says the he says the bike is doing fine except for the um, handlebars are bent real bad, and his windshield got cracked. So I think what we want to do is when we get around some kind of cell service is, uh, I think he wants to just shortcut it into Rawlings to the hotel and maybe start researching a place to get the handlebars fixed. Such a bummer. kind of gravel road that I do not like. 
it's like loose everywhere it's got these big washboard ruts and this road is steep and I'm now in second gear uh, and we just passed a sign that said 50 miles to Rawlings it's uh, over an hour and a half of gravel Oh, I see pavement ahead. 